Hello traders, welcome to another video here on the Learn to Trade channel. We're going to go ahead and look at crude oil right now because, well, the markets are obviously closed. But uh, what we're going to do is we are going to look at some possible scenarios for next week. And uh, uh, to be completely honest, I do like crude oil at these levels. Uh, and we're going to see if we can find something out. I know that I have a quite the background noise, but that doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to power through that. Right. Uh, so crude oil has rallied from bottom to uh, to top about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about uh, what? Uh, it seems to be about, uh, um, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of, uh, about uh, 52. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do that because, yeah, we went negative in crude oil. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, and let's go ahead and review the move from uh, the last dip, right? The last dip to the 33.86 level to right now, to right now, uh, it's about a 46.4% move and uh, 1,500 pips or ticks right in this move. The, the, the interesting thing about this move is that we have hit some very, very, very strong levels to the upside. Right, we haven't quite hit this base just yet, and this is the level that I'm looking for, the 5080 uh, to 52 level, the level that I'm looking for for some resistance, right? Um, but uh, what, what we have hit right now is this previous smaller base, right? It is, however, a very strong level of support. The reason that this is a strong level of support is because of uh, uh, because we are on the daily chart. Remember that we are on the daily chart, and uh, if we zoom in a little bit, let's zoom in a little bit, right? If we zoom in a little bit, right here, you can see, you can clearly, clearly see that uh, this was a level where buyers were stepping in and when we broke to the downside this is the level that was retested be before that big move to the ups to the downside so that's the key level we are looking at on the daily if we look at to that uh, friday scandal this was a very strong bullish candle uh close right uh but let's go lower on the time frame just go to the four hour chart then we're going to do as we always do go to the two one hour chart 15 minutes etc to find entries right so this is the four hour chart and uh uh let's look at some levels on the four hour right we have this previous level of resistance that was broken with and retested right here and in my opinion um a um a rejection of the 49 level a clear rejection of the 49 level would give us a nice opportunity to short this market but the thing is that we are in a bullish market by the moment we are in a bullish market at the moment with uh, of course um international flights um, international flights opening up um well but the thing is i just traveled this weekend uh, the uh, i mean uh, uh the airport seems to be very very um empty but uh, uh i mean i've seen all i've, I've also seen, seen the numbers and international flights are going up so uh, we're going to go with the actual numbers and not what i saw uh this week right so this could be a very well this is a strong um a strong uptrend that we are currently trading in right so uh first first rule we wouldn't want to be short in such an off, uh, in such a strong uptrend right so what we're going to do is we're going to find some levels maybe to go long uh on a dip right uh also, what we're going to do is maybe find some levels to actually short this market. Uh, or if it's, um, I mean, the thing is that if we get a good risk to reward ratio on a short position, we are going to take it, right? Uh, even though we are fundamentally strong uh, and technically strong, right? So let's go ahead and let's do that. Um, no, I'm just choosing the correct. Uh, uh yeah this this, this will be true. so we do have this going on and um let's uh, go ahead and uh 
uh, create the channel at the top. Right? Uh, it's it's uh, actually it's more like a wedge. What we're looking at here is more like a wedge. I'm sorry, I was just a little bit distracted, but it it is more like a wedge at the top of that move. Right, so we do have that going on. Uh, could be the end of uh, a uh, five wave move to the upside. So we were, uh, let me show you the actual five waves that I am looking at right now. So this, the first one, again, this is not Elliott wave theory whatsoever. This is just a visualization of the actual okay. waves that I'm looking at, right? And okay. if this is in fact the end of wave five, we could be expecting a, an ABC corrective move to the downside uh, of some sort, right? So this is what we could actually be writing, right? An ABC of some sort like this. But again, this is assuming that this is the top, right? So let's see if we are um, at, some, uh, at some actual bullish level to the upside. Um, if we are around the 161.8 or 261.8, this would be, in fact, a good opportunity to short. So as you can see, the 261.8 of the three of the of the uh, fourth wave is quite a bit higher, right? So this tells me that this move to the upside might not be done. But again, this is just conjectures because we don't know if this is where sellers are going to be jumping in or buyers will be actually taking profits on. Let's go now to the hourly chart and uh, let's find uh, some actual levels to the downside. Now, the immediate level that I'm looking for for, a, uh, for an actual short in this market would be uh, at the break of the structure around the and uh, I'm going to color it red uh, because I'm going to color it green actually yeah because it would would be a validation level right so uh, if price actually comes down and breaks with these lows it would be breaking with the immediate uh, structure and that immediate structure is the pattern that we are looking at right so uh, let's have a look here of what we can actually trade. All right, so this would be the validation level, but we will still be inside of that big, big, big structure. However, what we, what can happen is that uh, we do something like this, right? A move to the downside, and then a flag, and then the move to the downside. So. Uh, the play here would be to wait for that flag formation and then to short this market, right here. Um, let's see, and uh, let's wait and see if uh, we actually have uh, some uh, good risk to reward ratio on this short. Let's see, I reckon we will have one. Because our target should be the end of wave four, uh, so let me just put it right here and no, and to not be greedy because we do want to get filled on our target uh, We would be targeting around the 44.50, right? Uh -huh. So that gives us a 1 to 3 uh, risk to reward ratio or a 3 R no actually a little less than that uh, uh, A 2.4 R which is great in my opinion to first target we are not going to be shorting or looking for a bigger move to the downside, just an ABC corrective move, or to write the ABC corrective move for the one, for the next one, uh, two, three, four, five uh, rally, right? So at this point, we will be looking for longs. All right, but if you want to receive my exact levels on this signal, uh, join the VIP uh, channel. I will leave the link below this video. Thank you and have a great weekend.